Intermittent fasting is changing the way people eat. But there are so many different ways to fast these days. Is one method better than all the rest? Personal trainer and health coach Max Lowery says cutting your eating down to just two meals a day is the best way to tackle fasting head on. My name is Max Lowery, and I'm the author of the Two Meal Day. And the Two Meal Day is the simplest and most effective method of intermittent fasting. So 16A is basically it's you you break your day up into a period of a 16-hour fast、um, with an eight-hour eating window. And I think it's just you know for me this is just the more natural way of eating. Obviously, most people that start doing the Two Meal Day is because of weight loss. And yes, they're losing weight, but actually the, the we're constantly hearing how. People have so much more energy throughout the day. They're not having, you know, these energy crashes because they're not so dependent on food for energy. They're using body fat. They realise that they don't have to constantly eat、um, to to get themselves through the day. But Lowry believes that the 16-8 method might not be as perfect as it seems. With just one slight adjustment, he says you can make it far more effective. So the reason I started the two-meal day and it's not the 16-8 is because one of the main issues that people come into With the 16A, is that they get obsessed with the time periods, and they start counting down the hours until they can eat, and they end up eating because the clock tells them to, rather than their body tells them to. It's essentially the same thing in terms of what's going on, but just changing the focus to listening to your body is when it becomes a way of life because you know you're understanding yourself better. If someone says, "Okay, how do I start tomorrow?" First of all, choose whether you are going to find it easier to skip dinner, or you're going to find it easier to skip breakfast. So, say you're skipping breakfast, I'll say, "Okay, what time do you normally have your breakfast?" You know, average person says 8 a.m. I will say, "Okay, rather than 8 a.m., go into work or whatever you're doing, and wait until 10 a.m. and see how you feel." And then, basically, over the course of two weeks, push it until it's 16-hour gap. And the whole time, you're listening to your body. You're kind of Hopefully, learning to understand that just because your stomach is empty does not mean that you're hungry. Then the main thing is is that you fundamentally need to be eating whole foods, you know, cooked from scratch. A lot of other intermittent fasting methods have been like, oh no, you can eat what you want, you know, but just in a small time period, or eat what you want for five days. That doesn't encourage changes in behaviour long term, which is obviously fundamentally what the issue is for some people. So all I'm trying to do is just educate people and give them the tools. To listen to their bodies better, and that's that's really what it boils down to.